So the area of novel therapeutics in pancreas cancer is a very interesting one. There's a, a, a lot happening in the field and uh, topical considerations are antistromal therapies. So for example, molecules that are designed to break down the stroma, improve drug delivery with a counterpart that, that could be exit of cancer cells and we still, still don't know. So examples of drugs in this category would be hyaluronidase inhibitor, PEG-PH20 is undergoing a randomized phase two assessment on the backbone of gemcitabine and napactitaxel and uh, more recently started uh, backbone of fulfirinox. So that's a, a very topical area. Antistromal, anti-metastatic, um, anti-angiogenic uh, targets in pancreas cancer uh, are being explored. So for example, another uh, drug that we're working on is necuparinib, uh, which is a genetically engineered heparin derivative that has some very interesting preclinical data and is being evaluated in a randomized phase two setting. Uh, other molecules or classes of molecules would be stem cell inhibitors, uh, notch inhibitors, uh, antibodies in, in development of pancreas cancer, and immune uh, therapies. And we now have the benefit of seeing some small but completed immune therapy studies in pancreas cancer evaluating uh, modified listeria vaccine with uh, GVAX, which is an allogeneic uh, vaccine that's derived from uh, patients with pancreas cancer and that is currently undergoing a, a bigger assessment in a larger randomized phase two, uh, trying to isolate the advantage or not of having GVEX present with a controlled reference chemotherapy arm. So that's exciting to see uh, these types of studies happening in pancreas cancer. Thus far, checkpoint inhibitors on their own appear to have a modest signal, and the field is looking to combine checkpoint inhibitors with other immune enhancing strategies. So those, that next group of studies are, are just starting. And uh, for the more difficult to treat solid tumors, uh, this is where we think the future might be with immune therapies. And pancreas cancer may have some additional particular challenges going to the difficulties of, of treating this disease in that it's a very immune suppressed environment related to the pancreas cancer cells. And some very nice work from the UK uh, suggests that we need to allow these immune cells to get in there. Uh, and that might be one way of uh, augmenting the benefit to you know, drugs that we've seen have benefit in other challenging uh, solid tumor malignancies. CAR T cells are being looked at in pancreas cancer early as yet. And you know, it's, a, it's a limited experience in, in uh, limited centers, Penn uh, and a couple of others about to start uh, looking at T cells, uh, CAR T cell approaches in pancreas cancer. And tumor infiltrating lymphocytes have also been, been looked at, again, in a, a small subset of people. So, so right there, that's kind of an array of um, novel approaches uh, which have potential. Uh, last targeted area that I'll mention is that of uh, the genetic subsets, so people with BRCA mutations, PALB2 mutations, germline, and indeed somatic, uh, may benefit from, from platinums. And platinum is an old drug, but it can work particularly effectively because of the concept of synthetic lethality in this patient population. And experimentally, PARP inhibitors are being evaluated combined with chemotherapy and as a follow-on maintenance uh, to chemotherapy. So that's sort of a snapshot of uh, new, new agents and new approaches in, in pancreas cancer.